just missed his spot by a fraction. Has to chip it. And yeah, we're going to see a bunch from that spot today. That bunker just right. At the beginning of the season, made me nervous when Lu Lucas Glover stood over it. Let's watch the change, just the the flow. Remember, he, he would take it back like half an inch and just barrel through the putt, just trying Correct. to get it over with. Sounded just a little bit skinny. Yeah. Pretty good shot. Lucas Glover, one of the better ball strikers. Big change that putter, the putting. Got another one. Let's keep it going. Ian Baker Finch referenced it last week, the change of the putter. Well, the good thing is it's a calm start for Justin Rose under par. See if he can carry it forward through the rest of the round. 234 for Glover. Uh, just another high quality shot right there. He's going to have that left for Eagle. And now after Nick Hardy races it well past the hole at 16, Glover. Glover. Lucas Glover. <laughs> Seven under. A little trouble with the button there. Welcome, Kurt. Yeah, Lucas Glover continues his hot play. It's an easy little chip there at the second hole. That'll be a par for him to stay at seven under. All right, Lucas Glover, this for Eagle to jump to nine under, Frank. He had a great second shot from 251. Good part too. And feeling the heat. So a birdie at the par of five. At the fourth, Lucas Glover's tee shot. And we'll follow that with Trackman Tracer Technology presented by T-Mobile for Business. And our leader, Lucas Glover, has got a downhiller here. That tee shot went right over the top of the flag stick. That new improved putting style. Oh, right on cue. Boy, I don't know if I've ever seen him make more putts. Because I've spoken to Jordan about that as we watched Lucas Glover at six. That little draw of his works good to the back left. Real, real well. How about that shot? This is at the sixth, our leader by a shot, Lucas Glover, another great approach shot. And those are the putts he used to dread, three, three and a half feet. T at nine, Lucas Glover. I'll make the second shot a little longer. This dog leg right. No problems though. Sounded crisp. Yeah. S solid shot after solid shot. Boy, every single hole giving himself a chance here to make a putt. This one would get it. Hmm. But in control. Yeah, and it's a win on a week where you're thinking, well, it'd be a long shot to make it to the playoffs mm. where he was coming in last week. We're going to see lots of birdies again. So that final group out there playing the first, Lucas Glover, his third here at the opener. How about that start? There you go. Hello. <laughs> Come on now. And this is, this is going to be protection for sure. Tree shouldn't be a problem. Just a lob wedge. Looking for some release. That is very well done. A little conservative, but just what you would expect from Lucas Glover. Now back to the leader, Lucas Glover. Yeah, and that wind you talked about, it is back into him a little bit. This also a six iron on the way. That's solid. No mistake over there. Plenty of club. Very well thought out. Now it should be moving based on the contours of this green. It should be moving just a little bit off the left edge. 
Doesn't waste any time. No, he doesn't. That routine, and it's another birdie for Lucas Glover. What a start here at the third round. That's a little chippy nine. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, he got that ball to draw in there. Got some help from the slope. This is Glover for birdie. No problem there. Well, he, the routine is pretty quick. He's showing a lot of confidence. Glover after overshooting the target here at eight. Trying to get up and down. And it sounded like the fans liked it. Caddy liked it. 13 under this for par. Glover projecting top three in points. 19 of his last 20 rounds have been in the 60s. And this guy's a major champion. He knows that he can get it done at the highest level. And every great shot he hits, every good putt he hits, that confidence is just going to keep building. And he is going to be tough to beat. It's a nice little lovely touch down the hill at the ninth. And it was 09. Really hard. And all he ever wanted to do was be good enough to win so he could have more time at home. Mm. It's very touching. 43 years old and enjoying the run of his life. He's never won twice in one season. My mom's a pilot for FedEx. Mm -hmm. Eight iron. Oh, a little bit of a twirl. Yeah, that twirl said it all. Doesn't matter if that flag's on the right, still gonna hit a little draw. Gonna get a great view of the roll here. Like that, now he's now 94 under. This round's still clicking along. Showing a lot of confidence, flag out. See, so he had the reverse overlap there mm. too, like the putting grip. This is where it really shows to me. I know that just sort of veered off to the right. It's, it's not just like when he missed long. That eight and nine drew a good lie. His chipping's been fantastic, God, he hasn't it? It I mean, really has. I, I like think it. that's. Center cut. Beautifully done. He takes it back a little bit to the inside. Has a nice little release, which he likes to feel. Pitching wedge in hand in the line. There's Eric Lydell on the 18th camera. Green light special. And there it is. Great playing. Here's Glover for birdie. Oh, no. Would have been a two shot lead. Yeah, a couple short misses at 16 and now at 18. But he's going to sleep on the lead. Last week he was tied for the lead after 54, went on to win. 66 it is. Chop down on it. Speed looks beautiful. Not too bad. We're going to get an early look. A couple strokes yesterday coming in were the worst we'd seen over the last two weeks. Ah, it looks absolutely as solid as it gets. Well, he passed that test with flying colors. Did not mm. budge on the routine. Didn't waste time. He's one of the fastest players out on tour. Has been for 20 seasons. Third for Lucas. It's a hanging lie, 87 yards. A little tracer by track man telling us the, the height, ball speed, 15 feet for the par. Reach for the water. Stay hydrated. Let's go to two. <laughs> How about this putter for Lucas Glover? Just amazing. He could have just one of the great post-40 record. That's the best of anyone here. Shows you why he's only made two bogeys this week. But that one will be for a birdie. Lucas Glover projected third already. So much more importantly, now he has a little cushion. Two shots as he hits the par three. Fit in these fairways. It is four. Well, look at this, Lucas. No problem, no stance issues. Mm -hmm. And able to get out of here pretty quickly with the three. Lucas now. Just the finishing touches on a stressful three. Yeah, I know. Well, 
Now he's got a square club face with those irons, and boy, is it money. Very true. Good safe shot, center of the green, inside 15 feet for another birdie. He's got a two-shot lead over Spieth at the moment. The Glover. May have been a missed green, but a smart missed green with an uphill chip shot. It's only 12 yards wide in this little space. Nearly win it that with like a putting stance. Mm. And for Glover. And nothing in it, really. It's like a wand now, isn't it? It sure is. What a weapon it's become for him. Using a putting grip, too. Oh, man, again. Yes, indeed. Looking forward to it. There's a par again. Exit so nonchalantly. And by the way, Raymond Floyd won the 1982 Danny Thomas. It is. It's not sitting very uniformly. It'll want to kick to the right once it does get onto the green. Also scrub speed off it. See that going sideways at the end. Mm. He's starting to put a little more stress on himself than he needs to and having to scrap like he did yesterday. Oh, hit lapped around, but what a save. He's missed six greens in regulation. Well, he is, but it is from the left up closer to the green. Oh, look at this shot. There's a highlight. Package on its own. Well, is it still run? Just getting it on the green would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Um, he can do that. Hard. Needs it to settle. Just. Because this shot did not look pretty. It was almost just a hack out. Look at that club hit just. Buried down into the soft Bermuda. Oh, he's done it! Wow! Talk about clutch. Run to the next tee. One more look at this. It's like a pendulum now, isn't it? Bit of a place to go, too. Seven. Back to 14. Can he get it in close enough to make another good putt for the bogey? Oh. He's had the lead since 10.57 a.m. It didn't do a ton. It worked a little right at the end. Can he make two in a row? Yes, he can. What a putt for Glover. I'm a believer. 20 feet at the 13th, 30 feet for bogey here at 14. The pins that go against his ball flight. Let's we'll see how he comes back. Oh, how nice it is. Beautiful. Starts just right of it. Now well, that's fine there. Face set up a little open. Grab. Oh, beautifully played. That was confident. This sounds familiar. 16. Two tied, 15 under. <laughs> just like last year. And a perfect lie. Get up. Lined up straight, struck it straight, and straight in the middle. Lucas Glover has hung in there once again. This is for his sixth win. Get there. Boy, he had the read, too. It was right in the heart. Two men will battle it out in Memphis. Lucas Glover and Patrick Cantley. No danger here. 
Just right to start. It's a good shot. That's all he needed to do. He's going to have a great feel for the speed down the hill off the regulation. Looking at going back to back two weeks in a row. Can happen right here. It goes left early. Totally different putt than the one he had in regulation. Mm, complete different angle. And go ahead and clean up. And Patrick knows exactly what he has to do. Keep this going. Has to make it or Glover is the champion. Got a chance. Oh, singe the edge. And Lucas Glover goes back to back, including the opening leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. One for the old guys. Remember that great moment last week when his kids were saying, Daddy, you won. Guess what? <laughs> Daddy won again. Yes, he did.